Oh. Yeah, uh, you can hear me now. Yes, now we can hear. Okay, um, you can see the cost of living. Okay, okay. Yeah, so um, the issue I had for this one was when I copied um, the um, information from expertise and um the usd part came with this with the stars and the brackets so is there an easy way of cleaning this so that it can just show the numbers because when i try to like do a summation it uh, it brings an error because of the characters okay Yeah, that's my first question. Okay, what about the second? Sorry? Uh, do you have any other questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the other one is about the data here. Um, today you spoke about how to, like, um, if I want to get the the data for legos and i want to to just have data for legos and with this uh, sulfuric uh, dioxide um, nitrogen carbon and ozone um i think you showed the formula today of how to do it but i i don't remember Uh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. The network uh, was down on my side, so I didn't hear the last part. So I just changed my network. So can you repeat the question again? Yeah, in today's session, you yes. showed how to do uh, to extract information from like a whole set of data like this. So you showed us how to. Let's say I want to remove Legos. I want to have all the data for Legos because uh, it's 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 um, mixed up in in the whole data. So I wanted to get uh, Legos okay. listed on the side mm -hmm. with uh, all the values like um, of its uh, self sulfur, nitrogen, carbon, and ozone data, so that I can be able to do a chart. Yes yeah okay um, so one problem that i'm looking at right now is uh have you cleaned the data yeah are there any uh okay um, just a minute okay Oh, um, so you just wanted to filter the labels, right? Yeah. So you have to put uh, the result in quotes. I have to, sorry, I don't know why my speaker is not too clear. Quotation marks, so you have to use quotation marks on the results. So the labels should be in a quotation mark. Um, we're here. Yeah, labels like you have filter equals. Let me just zoom in so that. I oh, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. So here you have a one to. Uh, so, uh, so the first error that you have is when you gave it the range, you just uh, selected the, um, the first row, right? So that's not correct. So. So okay. This one you have from A2 up to uh, E, E has something. So A2 up to E, 8000. So change A to E. Yeah. So now, no, uh, no, E. Yeah. Yeah. So that's better. And yeah. for the second three, 
for the second entry, we want to just put in a, so that's correct, but you don't need uh, a comma. You just need, uh, you just need an equal sign. So after that, from A to up to, yeah. yeah. So delete the comma and enter equal sign. Yeah. And labels should be, uh, so just, yeah. Like uh, yeah. double quotation or yeah. single? Uh, double qu quotation is better, but yeah. So let's try it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So okay. now Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Um, okay. I will continue with the rest. Um, Okay, so for the first for the first one, so you yeah. want to eliminate uh, uh, so you want sorry, there is a bit of noise. So you want to eliminate the value or the symbol from the numbers, right? Yes. So okay, what I want you to do is uh, uh, like go to F two. Yeah. No, no. Uh, let it be there. Don't oh. delete, delete it. Yeah, so uh, just go to F2. Yeah. Uh, just one cell down. Yeah. And say equal, equal sign. Or shall I uh, just write it in the comment se section? Uh, yes, okay. I would like also. Okay. So I want to. Yabsra, can you see my screen now? I think uh, she's having problems with my screen. Can you go go back to your uh, uh, sheets, please? Yes. Um, okay. Um, so I want E three. Yeah. So here I'm going to write E three. So can you try the, this one? Sorry. I just, wrote, I just wrote in the comment section. Can you just copy and paste that one? Okay. Yes. So you want to change the value from dollar sign into just nothing. Yeah. Present there. Okay. And then we'll find. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yes. Okay. So now it's already yeah, eliminated, right? So you can work with this one. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, also, um, just uh, to confirm, so like uh, I can see there's a lot of uh, left spaces in between here. Um, and uh, I tried to do like an average, but then I couldn't do like for nitrogen because of the ease in between. And also I tried for sulfur and it said it has too big um the spaces there's a lot of empty blank spaces so uh, how am i supposed to know um so the first thing that you should do is clean your data so doing your data means after cleaning your data you should be uh, you should end up with uh and then uh, empty values right so you shouldn't have any empty values after yeah. you have done things. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So one of the problems that we are facing is because uh, you have a lot of uh, empty spaces. So you have to go back to the cleaning. Yeah. So your sheets are um. Yeah. So here. Uh, okay, you can go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It it, it just removed the duplicates. Um, yeah, it's just for the duplicates. But but um. How how do I know how to fill in the spaces? 
Uh, okay, so one of the things that we can do is go to uh, format. Yeah. Sorry. Format. Um, I don't know why it's not responding. Maybe it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you go to conditional formatting? Yes. And uh, hello. Okay, uh, so we all lost um, and having connection issues. Okay, uh, what did it show? Uh, for formatting, then conditional formatting. Okay, you have already uh, formatted. So, can you add an answer condition? Yeah. So, is it okay? Can you change the format say, to is it okay? Sorry? Can you change the format to is it okay? It's uh... Oh yeah, it's empty. Oh, uh, so I'm not seeing a custom formula on your uh, on your menu, but I don't know why. Um, what is it supposed to look like? So format. Uh, so here is empty. So can you click on that? Yeah. Yeah. Can go to. Yeah. Can you find uh, custom for formulas? Can I find what formula? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Click on that and just go. And can you find custom formulas? Yeah. yeah. So where? Okay. So value uh, formula can you add uh, is equal to is blank. Like this, uh, blank a space. No, no, wait. This, but I'm not sure if this one's going to work. Uh, I have so written in the message. Yeah. Uh, are you still there? Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I think I'm going it's taking away. Okay. Okay. Um, so, okay. So, one thing that we can do um, yeah. is uh, so, did you pay this? Can you uh, just like uh, done? Can I? Um, uh, okay. You have to change my uh, range. I have to find. Oh. Range. No, change the range. Change the range because it's only focusing on one cell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so don't want to leave E. Select the whole thing. No, not the whole thing. Up to F E. So B two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. B. Okay, you can say B2 up to 10,000, it's just uh, 5,000. Yeah. 
platform? Yes. No, let's just assume like you can you can do this uh, later, but let's just assume this the set of numbers, right? Yeah. So so up to E, I believe uh, E seven you can see yeah. E, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just click done. So we do have a lot of non values or infinities. So yeah. one thing that you can do is um, I believe everybody has already shown you how to do this, but I don't know which because she showed you. Uh, I think she just joined. Maybe maybe she can work you through this. But uh, so if you want to input the specified value, like for example, if you want to impute or you want to replace the value with uh, the mean of the mean value, one thing yeah. you can do first calculate the mean value uh, column that you want to impute. So for this case, you can just calculate the mean value of the mean column and then put that value in one set. Okay, uh, because yeah, but, but because of um, the okay. the, it's, the it's, okay, I'll try. I'll try on my own and let you know if it works. Uh, okay, we can try it now. But okay, we can do it later. So uh, then you can just uh, use uh, the if statement. But I will show you how. Sorry. Okay. Okay. You, you just uh, you you can try it and uh, we can you can tell me then. Yeah, I, I'll try to do the mean and so I, I like for instance uh, this place has a really big space with only two characters or three uh, there about. Do I just do the mean too? Yes, yes, so that's what I was, uh, what I meant. So after you calculate the mean of, of for the available data, you can impute the mean value into the empty cells. Okay, 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 get yeah. it. So if you can uh, just find the, the mean value of the whole, uh, just for column B, I can show you how you can impute it into the empty cells. Okay. Mm. So just choose one cell, one empty cell. Yeah, it's gonna be that, that one. Yeah. Okay. Since she is going to calculate the mean, I'm sorry. Uh, you can select only say that have a value, a number value. Sorry. Sorry. Can you hear me? Somehow your voice is breaking in my side. But I was saying, uh, if you're about to calculate the mean. Right, if I get uh, yeah. your discussion right, yeah, go, go to a set that have numerical value. Go to what numerical value? Sorry, Melody. Uh, you said uh, if I want to calculate the mean, I should go to something numerical value. A set that have numerical value. I. Uh, if I heard you right, I think you said to calculate the mean first and then uh, like you will see how to replace them with that value, right? Yeah. So go to the, the maybe ozone or street column number density, that column. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. So yeah, calculate the mean value of that column. Oh, okay. Um, is the mean and the medium the same? Sorry, like, okay, I haven't heard you, but yeah, like, you can just uh, forget about the function. You're not supposed to. Outreach, keep uh, outreach. Yeah, it's average. Oh, yeah, but now my okay. other question was okay. to. 
And what's the difference between average uh, uh, deviation and just normal average? So what average are they? Yeah, yeah. like what's the difference between these averages? Numer okay, can I see your numerical average value in a data set? And yeah, can you click on the upper one? This one? One after, no, no. Yeah, I was about to read that. What was recent though? Sorry? Yeah, get back. Yeah, delete that one. And uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Just hover over the word average. The second one. Okay, numerical average value and data set. Ignoring text. So yeah, it, is, it, do, it doesn't have any difference, but the, the first, the second one will, uh, will um, imagine or will consider the text. So it is better to use the, so numerical wise, it doesn't have any difference. Okay, okay. So maybe melody, you can just click the column and D, the column D. Okay. Yeah, we will select all of them. Um. So you said for ozone, right? I'm sorry, I mean. Uh, it's E, I guess. Yeah, E. Yeah. Okay. And then it did the mean value, I guess. Yeah, zero point one one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, the next question was uh, we going back to. No, uh, it's not a question. Can you go back? So you, you just calculated the new value, right? So you, you calculated it on which uh, on G. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you uh, a script that you can use. Yeah. I'm writing it uh, just a minute. Okay. Can you use this one? Let's see. So here it's going to include the value of uh, the value of P2, which is the mean value, into yeah. anything that's blank on the uh, P2 uh, uh, column. Okay, uh, okay. On, uh, it's going to put on, on G1, on E2, anything that's uh, in here. Okay, so. Yeah, just copy that one. I'm just going to replace, because um, the, the, the ozone has no empty spaces. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do it on another column. Okay, so I, I can just replace the values here. Okay, just, just to, just for example sake, let's say, uh, just change this one to um, okay. G, and yeah. one to G, and this one to uh, B. So maybe we can check this one. Okay. Uh, so this is for B. No, uh, yeah, just test it on. Uh, here or? Okay. Uh, yeah, you can just. Sorry? Here. You can do it there or on empty cell. Uh, choices was on empty cell. I mean, uh, just yeah, you can't do it. 
Uh, on the sale or uh, in the formatting conditions? Do it on end, end letter. Okay. On end letter, sale end letter. On sale? L L uh, H I J K L. Oh, okay. Two. Okay. Okay, we have had the reference. Let me see. Okay, can I see the error? Yeah. So here it's inputting the since. Here on, on B2, you have an empty cell. It's inputting the mean value there. Yeah. Okay, can, you just, can you drag it, drag it down? Can you take, click on it and drag it down? Yeah, drag it down. So here, if you can see, uh, for I believe the thieves value, it have been inputted the empty the cell, right? Um, I'm really sorry, I am not getting you. Okay, so on, let me just try to uh, break it down. So on uh, B2, on B3, B4, and B5, you had empty cells, right? Yeah. So for the first four cells, it has imputed the mean value there. So this first four. Yes, so those are the mean values, right? We have calculated there on G2, on G1. Um, yes. So it just inputted those. Uh, don't, uh, did, did, did you just copy it? Yeah. No, don't do it. Do, that's why, that, uh, that is not how we are going to do it. Okay. Uh, just on control Z and I will show you how to copy it. Uh, but I just want you to understand. So for the first four entries, it has, Imputed the mean value, and for the fifth entry, since it's not empty, it's, it's going to just uh, get the value. So, uh, so okay, yeah. 2.67 is already available there, and the next value, which is negative 0. Point, uh, something, is also in, not imputed, it's already found there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's what it did. So, if you want to copy it, you just have to uh go to uh, right click on column a or uh, column b for which is I, I right click on which column okay oh oh be before that uh just select the values of all the values of uh column l just click on l yeah then copy control yes. c huh? okay and and then go to uh column and B2, the cell B2, right click, right click and go to paste, I don't see paste, yeah, special, special paste, yeah. special paste and values only. Yeah. Okay. You have only the values, right? So it's not empty and only the new values calculated here. So if you want to uh, impute other values, for instance, the median value, you just have to cal calculate the median value on a cell and do these steps. Okay. Okay. Now, so is it clear? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Okay. So this is not correct because the mean value that we used is not for uh, from the sulfur uh, sulfur dioxide, but it's from the I, I believe the ozone layer. So you have to change that that, that one, and you're good. Okay. Okay. So, um, but the, the process is clear, right? The process and the, the idea be, behind is clear, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do it on my own, then I'll start again, see how well I've got it. Okay, okay, you can. Okay, um, the other question was um, on the grocery part of cost of living. Uh, the values are given, like uh, for instance, uh, a bread for one day for two people. Am I? Uh, is it okay to do an assumption and be uh, assuming this is what they purchase in a in a in a week? Then I multiply by four, then by twelve. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. So one way you can do uh, is uh, the you can calculate. So this, for example, for the bread, it's uh, given for one day. So you can calculate it for 30 days or 20 days. So that depends on you. But if you go to the Nimbo, that's why we gave you two sites. So yeah. if you go to Nimbo, it gives you the, um, I believe the, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. What was the, can you go to Nimbo? Okay. So there was a grocery list. Okay. Mm, it's, uh, it's only the, the markets. Oh, okay. So this is not correct. Um, can you go down a bit? There was a. Uh, okay, what about uh, for the other side? Expedition. Okay. So yeah, you have to calculate, you have to do your uh, own assumption and cal calculate. So they used to have uh, a grocery cost for person. They just calculate uh, for person per person and give that number, but I don't think they're doing that now. But so one thing you can do is just assume and uh, come up with the grocery list from the foods and cal calculate how much they will use for a month. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Then the last one is, um, I, I, I don't know if this is maybe in, the, in a later class, but um, checking the reliability of the data to ensure that it's accurate and the uh, monitoring was consistent. Yes. Um, so that, uh, I believe, uh, task two, right? Yeah, I think uh, either one or I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's part of the tasks. So um, does that, if I understand correctly, we are supposed to check if um, if uh, the quality of the data we got is uh, reliable, right? Yeah, you just have to cross check them uh, from the two sides. For task two, we gave you two sides. So you just have oh, to see the reliability. Oh. Yeah. Ah, OK. That is task two, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought it was for uh, task one. It's okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm fine now. Okay, good. Yeah, thank okay. you very much for your time. You're welcome. Um, so, anyone else who uh, have a question? They can ask, they can share the screen, and you can have a discussion. Yeah, so, uh, Hermila, you can share the screen now. Mila, you here, right? Yeah. So here, Mila is having a problem and submitting or giving an exercise, I guess. So I think we can, and she's not able to speak because she's in, uh, inside the library. So let's check the submission. Yes, it is visible. It is visible. And we like maybe decrease the size or yeah, open the tab, the platform in another tab or yeah, so that's or you can take it up. Okay, so let's go to the uh, the PDF that you that you want to submit. Should 
share okay okay so copy the link here no no you, you, let's copy the link no yeah. have you copied the link i guess i guess you've copied the link right you you click the copy link button here no 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 not that one no in this share challenge on the PD, yeah, exactly. So, preview. Yeah, I think it's then maybe the problem is you've copied the wrong link. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Copy the wrong link. Yeah, that is the key. Okay. Maybe if there's other person who have a problem. Yeah. Okay, Carol, you can take you can, you can take over. Okay, Pain Academy team. Carol, are you here? Can you hear us? No, it's a, if there is no patients left you can in position um so no more patient space no more patients okay uh, so thank you for joining and see you guys tomorrow yes